Hey Pisces, welcome to High Priestess Healing Tower, where you are the High Priestess, baby. Trusting patterns over promises, Pisces. This is the Audacity deck. Thank you, DZ, for gifting me this. Let's see what messages Spirit has for you today. Happy Mercury Goes Direct Day. Thank God. Thank God. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Ancestors, Archangel Michael. Please help me in pulling insights for the High Priestess Collective High Timelines. We got, ooh, <laughs> the audacity and the fair weathered friend. <laughs> we got three swords in this person's back and mushrooms and roses growing from them. And the audacity is the skeleton like, I'm on my, come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. This person, this is giving Six of Swords energy. It's like, I'm out of here. Uh, you may be disconnecting from, or maybe this Eclipse Portal retrograde period had helped you finalize moving away from friends or dynamics. I'll say dynamics, right? That are fair weathered, meaning like there's not a real investment here. or They can't meet me at the depth here moving away from that energy and as you move away the skeleton's kind of like laughing all the way to the bank like i'm not even getting bent about this i'm not even pissed off about this i'm not even i'm not even worried about these connections that no longer serve i'm letting it be i'm letting it rest and i'm moving on out interesting pisces bottom of the deck is the mother empress energy so maybe you've done a lot of um, inner child healing where you used to accept a certain kind of friendship dynamic or a certain kind of treatment. And now you are blooming and growing and flowing towards a different kind of garden that grows different kinds of flowers. That snake represents transformational energy, shedding the skin so that you can live in your new skin, Pisces. This is a beautiful thing. Some of, um, if you are disconnecting from old connections or you have been disconnecting or adjusting the adjusting the way you connect with others some people might this might be the perception of like oh my god the audacity of them and it's like yes i am bold <laughs> what is the question yes i have boundaries and expectations and standards for myself what is the question i am the seer i see through the bs and i'm moving towards my rainbow card number 11 that's actually the justice card so that's like confirmation of partnerships right libra energy is partnerships all right, let's get a little juice here. Um, we'll start with the fair weathered friend and then we'll move into the your bold audacity of decision making. The fair weathered friend card is card number 35, which breaks down to eight. Eight is a strength card. So maybe this took a lot of spiritual strength or coaching or maybe you have to do this in layers and steps. This could, you know, the... The relationships we have with people and friendships and boss dynamics and romantic partners a lot of times reflect the dynamic we had at home from our caretakers. So if that's, you know, if that's something you are aware of, this may indicate that you've, yeah, wow, that you been, have been healing a part of you that has to do with this childhood, mother energy and now it's showing up in your friendships. It's showing up in your romantic partnerships. It's showing up in your colleagues and like what you accept and don't anymore. Nine of Pentacles, clarifying the fair weathered friend. You know what this is? I'm going solo. The nines are solo journeys. The Nine of Pentacles is connected to Venus energy, the planet of love. Ooh, this is somebody that's like really invested a lot of time and resources on themselves and they've allowed the divine to communicate with them, their intuition, sign synchronicity. If you got bird friends, shout out to you. I get it. I got a little bird fam myself. And the nine of pentacles is like the gear up to the empress energy. So it's this like redefining of your femininity and redefining um, what you allocate out and what you keep for yourself. Maybe in the past you used to give a lot and not receive, or you gave a lot and the amount you received was not equal. 
for some of you this could be like i know this is like super specific but this could be like high school friends that like you just stayed in touch with and you're like you know what like why am i doing this that this does not this isn't really adding to me and i'm on this i'm on this elevation i'm on this ascension level and i can't bring everyone with me so i gotta make a move i gotta go this could also be people that stuck around because you are this or they saw it in you maybe you maybe you felt this but you never like Pisces some of you might have known you are nine of pentacles energy but you don't act like it and maybe that's humility or maybe that's fear that like if you do act like it people will want to try to take it from you or take it down or take it away um regardless of where you fall in that though the fair weathered friend is like oh i i see the nine of pentacles i want to be around the nine of pentacles when it suits me but i'm not going to pour into them beyond that you know it's like self-serving energy hello miss you want to read you want to read okay <laughs> neptune confirming trust your intuition don't believe the illusions oh she does want to read we got the magician out here. Someone, can I scoot you? Can I scoot you? Thank you so much. Um, you might actually be looked at as this very magical being, Pisces. The magician in Nine of Pentacles is, how the F do they keep doing that? <laughs> how the F do they keep doing that? So this is like people who see your magic and want to be part of it, but they're fair weather. They're not, they're not going to invest in you. They're not going to hold the space for you when you need it. They're not going to hold your hand when you need it. They're not going to give you the higher level advice when you need it. They're not going to offer you the truth when you are requesting, like, what do you call it? Like a blind spot check, right? Our shadow is essentially our blind spots. Your real friends will tell you you got a blind spot. Your real friends will be will answer your questions truthfully and honestly when you're like, is this a harmful thing I do? Or like, is this something that, um, you know, however you want to word that, I don't really know. Fair weathered friends are like, I just want to be around for the magic. And it's like, well, then you have to pay a ticket for the magic show, bitch. Sorry. <laughs> Nine pentacles plus that magician's pentacle is ten pentacles. It's giving opportunists. It's giving opportunists. And now you see, hangman, you looked at something differently. I think it's because you look, you start looking at yourself differently. If you've had a shift in your perspective of like who you are, what you came here to do, maybe even like a change in how you view yourself, like physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, like I'm actually, I really am that b-i-t-c-h i really am magic i really am abundant i really do offer a lot i really do bring a lot to the table i really am sensitive i really do connect with the, the divine when you realize and accept that perspective that higher level level perspective you also see who's not those things period this is may have taken a lot of trial by error though or a lot of trial by fire all right so tell me about pisces boldness can i move this signature tail the audacity yes four of wands this gives you win <laughs> you win pisces high vibrational energy okay just one high vibrational energy wow two of cups finding the right people now boldly going where you didn't go before is going to boldly present you with people you would not have met if you did not elevate this vibration and perspective of self this is coming into union with soulmate energy on the friends, on the colleagues, on the romance. Four of Wands, Two of Cups. This is really beautiful. This is like, this is true complimentary energy. True, um, I invest in you, you invest in me. True, let me celebrate your wins. I want to hear about your wins. Because when you win, I'm inspired. It doesn't take away from any of the things I'm doing. So if you, actually Pisces, some of you might have started winning. And when you started winning or making changes because you believe you can win, people might have been like, mm, that's pretty bold and daring of you to believe you can do this thing. Versus, I'm so wowed and impressed and proud of you for taking a leap of faith on yourself, right? Oh my 
my goodness. The tower. So twofold, you of course are the tower for these this friend or these friends that don't invest, these people that don't invest, or they now yeah, it is invest. It is invest. It really is. As you boldly leave or disconnect or just spend less time responding to the group chat <laughs> or spend less time focusing your energy outside of you, four of wands, two of cups, you come across people who are high vibrational and it may blow your socks off at the depth of which you can meet others that matches and mirrors yours, which perhaps this has been an infrequent experience up to this point. The tower is Scorpio. We just had that full moon in Scorpio, which was the essentially the revealer, the underbelly revealer, the deep emotions, the psychic abilities. Full moons, we release what's no longer serving. So if you just disconnected from dynamics that we're only benefiting from you and not here for the investment. You're about to experience some kind of major surprise, but like a beautiful surprise of new connections, new people that genuinely like see the depth. They see the value in going deep. I keep going into depth. So what is the bottom? Oh my God, Pisces. Kiss that love button, babe. Ten of cups. Claim your ten of cups. Listen, some of you might be out here like, I'm disconnecting from anyone and everything that doesn't serve me. And then by doing that, you meet like just the right person. It's just the right person. And it's the right time. And you're ready to appreciate it. And it's the rainbow after a storm. And if this isn't um, like a new romantic partner, this is like new friendships, new community, new tribe. And you're like, oh my God, this is the rainbow after the storm. Two of Cups to Ten of Cups is like a quantum leap of emotional fulfillment. It's like very balanced. And then you're like, yeah, this is, I'm staying here. I'm staying here. Look at that. Four of Wands, Two of Cups, Ten of Cups. Tell me about, oh, I love that. Tell me about this Two of Cups, Four of Wands. The audacity of you. <gasps> Pisces, I don't even know what's going on. Can you smash the love button? Nine of Pentacles, the sun. Here you are, weaving magic, creating a new perspective. This kills off, metaphorically, this kills off connections that were draining you. You move away, Six of Swords energy, into calmer waters. By doing that, you come across Four of Wands, more stable dynamics, people who want to celebrate you. Two of Cups, people that, that not only bring balance into your emotional state, but actually pour into your cup. It may rock the foundation that you have been living in because maybe for a long time, you were solo dojo energy. You were just like, keep on rocking in the free world. I'm a free bird, baby. Like, it is just me, me, myself, and I. And Spirit's like, no more three new friends four new friends oh my what's going on you see the lover's card under that listen to the singles get ready i don't know what's going on but they keep saying that this is the year of partnership so if you are single watch out in a good way they call me mellow yellow nine of pentacles in the sun is like i went from my solo dojo energy of creating the magic which also involves shadow work looking at things from a new perspective, specifically me, to now I can enjoy the fruits of my labor in the sun, my wish fulfillment, with my people, with my people. Two of cups being clarified by the nine of pentacles in the sun is, oh, I'm meeting my equal. This is me. It's me. I'm meeting me in a different form, a complementary form. Man, that's beautiful. If this is love, this is going to be a situation that catches you off guard because you're busy like moving towards something or you're like in something, there's like movement happening, there's growth happening. So it could be a project or a business that you're working on or something at work and this situation is sudden and it goes from the two to the ten. 
So it's a quantum leap of emotions. Um, not like, I just want to be clear, not, not love bombing and not going too fast. It's two of cups is balance and the ten of cups is completion. So there's like an energy of, I feel safe enough to be my full self here. The self I appreciate, the self I've nurtured and loved and mothered. And that energy is being mirrored back to me. See how they're mirroring each other? These two people. So this is a friend or a community, a tribe, a new, could be like a new, it could be a new boss because lovers is contract, four of wands is stability. Um, but it, regardless of who and how this plays out, it's mirroring you. Yeah, three of pentacles. Cooperation, collaboration. This is teamwork. This is new groups, new friends. People acknowledging and admiring what it is that you create and build. The, the thing that you bring to the world, your magic sauce, this is two people seeing it and being like, this is beautiful. We've been looking for you. Look, this person's like holding the blueprint, basically. They're like, we've been looking for someone who can do this. We've been looking for someone who offers this. We've been looking for our equal, our match. That's so nice. Especially if you're tired, right? Sun, sun. I've got sunshine. Okay. Smash that love button, babe. Claim your sun. Tell me more about this. Results of the audacity journey. Oh my God, healing. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Temperance energy, another sun. Um, the result of this, of you moving away, meeting people who mirror and reflect what it is that you bring to, to the table in your work ethic, in your results, in your healing efforts, in the love that you hold, in the spiritual depth that you embody. The result is healing and puts you on your path to glory. This is going to bring much more moderation um, and balance to your emotional state. This is you recognizing every day, like every, you're not waking up in fight or flight anymore of, um, can I trust these people or not? Or like, can I, can I be vulnerable with this person or not? The temperance is like, oh, I don't have to worry anymore. I know that I'm so grounded in my beingness and appreciation of myself. And I'm so attuned to my emotions and my intuition these people are mirroring that back to me because I've done so much work to be in this place that I know I'm protected by the work that I've done. The work that I've done is my protection. The work that I've done allows me to see clear. I see me clear. And when you see you clear, you see bullshit clear too, right? You see, you see yourself in others and you see the parts of yourself that you had to heal that are in others. Your protection is in your own seeing. Your protection is in the knowing that you are in your divine, connected energy, appreciating yourself. And because of this, there's balance in your emotions, balance in your uh, nervous system. There's regulation in your anxiety, your nerves, your worries. Things are going to start to dissolve that once worried you. And what happens then is you're able to spread your wings and fly a little higher it's funny that the Nine of Pentacles has the bird on her hand and then the Temperance has wings that span the width of the card. So going from a perched bird to a flying angel. There's a significant shift in the dynamics around you as a result of how you see yourself and who you allow to have access to you and, and really like who you allow to leave. Or who you invite to leave. Six of Pentacles at the bottom. That's equal give and take. Some kind of gift. Mm. Tell me more about this temperance. Eight of Wands. Movement forward. Communication. So there's also download. So as you heal, you might... Uh, as you heal and then surround yourself with people who are higher vibrational. They challenge you, they inspire you, they motivate you. They don't placate you. There's no enabling in these types of dynamics. This also increases your downloads and your connection to the divine, which moves you forward faster. 
the Empress in reverse. One more for the Empress in reverse. Ooh, move it. Okay. There was a there was or is a distorted feminine energy that was either around you causing conflict or you caught that energy and that's the part of you that's healing. Could be from like remothering yourself. Hold on. There's something else with the distorted feminine. The Empress in reverse is someone, um, if we're not talking about a distorted feminine in terms of like abuse and neglect, uh, an Empress in reverse is someone who doesn't receive. They find it challenging to receive. That might be a part of you that's actually being healed in this process and it's being mirrored back to you. When you receive from others, the, the mirror is inside the house. It's in your intuition. It's how you are responding to receiving. And you might actually heal deeper through the receiving because you're aware like oh this is actually five of wands empress in reverse it's a little challenging for me to receive this kind of support receive this kind of love even though i know i want it cognitively and this moves you forward into deeper healing energy you know it's funny eight wands and five wands is 13 breaks down to that four of wands which is stability high vibrational energy celebrating one more. Wow, Ace of Cups in reverse. Sorry, that wasn't English. Ace of Cups in reverse. <laughs> showing you where you weren't um, accepting. Show, showing you where you were. I know this is hard, but like showing you where you were blocking Ace of Cups. Where you were blocking yourself from being held, from being supported, from being poured into. And it all comes back down to you like remothering yourself or like showing yourself divine nurture and seeing yourself in that way. It all comes back to you seeing with that big third eye, you seeing you clear. And then you look out and you're like, oh wait, what's, what's around me is not mirroring what I see in me. I'm out which essentially leads to these beautiful dynamics and relationships that continue to deepen the healing. That's, that's a beautiful thing. Five of swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck and to mental conflict and to five of swords in reverse, like winning at all cost energy. The winning at all cost can sometimes people that like, they just don't give an F they're fair weather. So they're like, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. I'm here for what you can give me. I'm here for a laugh. I'm here for a drink. I'm not here to invest. I'm not here to hear your SHIT. I'm not here to invest in the way that you need. It's challenging. It's hard. Five swords in reverse is like, that's over. That's over. Hmm. Anything else on these? Um, congratulations, Pisces. This is quite promising. Let's do this. Tell me more about the relationship healing. You saw that King of Cups? Oh, and the Fool. Relationship healing. Three of Wands. That's leadership. It's also patiently waiting. I think this is a payoff. Three of Wands, Six of Cups, patiently waiting for the right people, the right crew, the right family member. It's inner child healing. This man with his dog is remembering when he was a kid and the dog was a puppy. So this is this keeps coming back to some like deep childhood experience of maybe receiving was not a thing you were able to do. Or maybe you were a parentified child, right? Um, could could be like distorted energies with a maternal figure or a caregiver. But by you patiently moving through this process of like recognizing your magic and seeing yourself for who you are and then disconnecting from anyone that doesn't mirror that back to you, this is like a big healing payout for you. There's something about, um, did somebody, did someone here used to, okay, this is very interesting when you were a kid crying in your bedroom 
was there ever images or like I, co this is some kind of coping mechanism would you imagine yourself as an adult of like all i have to do is just get through until this specific age in this specific scene and then i'll be free there's some kind of like it's almost like coaching but like how could you do that as a kid but it feels like coaching like you were like oh this is such a hard emotion this is such a hard place to be all I have to do is patiently wait until I'm this age and I will be free. I'll, I'll be able to get out. Like, it'll work for me. There's something about, like, as a child, you being able to <laughs> connect with yourself like that. Come here. Can you scooch a mooch? Thank you. And if that doesn't resonate with you, there's, like, um this healing is a result of the patience that you have afforded your inner child. And by connecting with that inner child kind of like going back to the hard memories and talking to that inner child like hey i know this is hard your feelings are valid and things get so much better that approach right parts therapy ifs is essentially what's like led you to this beautiful abundant new dynamic in romantic partnerships friendships tribe that is going to take you suddenly it's going to be sudden um not sudden like 10 people show up but it does give sudden like a mirrored person even this imagery is mirrored. Oh my god. That's that five of wands, three wands, two wands. That's a five of wands. This really took a lot of work. God, this is exhausting. This took a lot of work for this chapter to come in and all this light and all these relationships. This love under the sun. The quality that you've been striving for. It took a lot of work. It's all your free will, though. See, yeah, this is something about what I just said. Look, the globe and the Winnebago. Something about, like, I just have to wait till this age and then I'm free. I just have to wait till I can do this and then I'm out. I just have to, like, something about, like, it's like breaking free. Like, you knew as a kid that what was happening was off. It wasn't like you had the aha later on. You knew when it was happening, it wasn't right. And you knew you just needed to get out. And once you got out, things would clear. And this, like... This turn of events with these relationships or this one relationship that comes in, it brings you even deeper into healing, which might be uncomfortable, but it also confirms to that kid. It confirms to your inner child something. Yes, the hermit, it confirms. Listen, if you don't talk to that inner child yet, this is a big call. This is like, please talk to that child. So like when you're feeling triggered emotions, being like, talking to yourself as though you are a child in a positive nurturing way a validating way you've always had some kind of light that has elevated your perspective and ability to be with yourself the introspective path has actually come very natural for a lot of you here this is essentially what's ascending you into this new vibration where you're going to be able to spot others who have also walked the solo journey and that will be a mirrored reflection of high quality energy that matches the vibration you've cultivated through your solitude, through your hermit phase, through your journey. This hermit card, they don't carry the lantern anymore. They don't need the lantern because they found the light within. I think a lot of you did that at a very, very young age and it has carried you through. And you're about to experience something that validates all of that ace of cups upright now ace of cups upright so whatever emotional depth has been blocked from you because of the old programming wounding vibration that you are emitting this healing vibration now calls in new oh my god i'm the lovers maybe a virgo taurus capricorn maybe gemini i wouldn't say no to anybody in that caliber This is really nice. This is equally yoked dynamics, contracts, friendships, tribe. This expands your heart. This is you get what you deserve. Ten of cups, lovers, nine of pentacles, the sun, four of wands, two of cups. You deserve that. Pisces, smash that love button. What are we doing? What are we even doing? Thank you, Pisces. All right, any closing messages for Pisces? One more, thanks. The call of the void, oh my God. <laughs> 
There's a candle in your heart ready to be rekindled. Oh my God, I love this. All you have to do is acknowledge the void so you can heal properly. I'm hearing rent um, light my candle. <laughs> I won't. I won't try to Broadway sing up in this bitch. Some of you answered the call, Pisces. Some of you heard that call real young. Some of you were called Rose. Someone painted you a rose, something about a rose. And the journey within that spiral. What you allow will continue. That is damn. Thanks, Spirit. I love when they back me up here. That fair weathered shit. What you allow in treatment from others is what perpetuates. It is making a different choice, different boundary, different decision. That changes your vibration and everything that's around you. So what you accept will perpetuate. What you say no to will stop. And what you prescribe as your preferred treatment is what will continue. Your boundaries are currently being challenged. Oh my God, raise your hand if, if this retrograde has been epic in showing you where you need to sharpen, tighten, clarify boundaries. Your boundaries are currently being challenged, so you may learn the art of saying no and remember your power. It is in your no's and your yeses that you get what you want and you discontinue what you don't want. The universe is the algorithm. So hit that thumbs up button for what you want more of and hit that fucking thumbs no button on the shit that you do not want to see anymore. Damn, Pisces. You see that lotus? Pain is fuel. All that pain, all that suffering, all that confusion, use it as fuel and transform your troubles into gold. I think you did. Or you are. Now that you're gone, all that's left is been gold. All right, ask a priestess. Ready? Um, High Priestess Sitting asked, how do I keep spiritual peace in me when my heart is hurt? This is an interesting question because I think spiritual peace looks and feels different to everybody. But what I, what I'm, what I think that you mean, how do you not, how do you not wish ill on others who may have inflicted harm on you? Or how do you stay firm in faith when you're enduring pain? How do you stay true to your essence when the hurt feels like it's never ending? Your spiritual muscles are here to remind you that pain is temporary, just like joy is. Our spiritual powers are to remind us that everything we experience here is finite and fleeting. With that, can you savor and fall completely into the moments of joy, gratitude, appreciation, and peace, and allow yourself to also move through the fire of pain itself when it's here? instead of avoiding it or wanting it to be over or asking for it to be over. I mean, we, we can do those things, but it's through the hurt of the heart that we actually uncover a spiritual gift, a psychic ability, a new perspective on ourselves. It's, I used to do this a lot. There were many years where I would feel deep heartache, but I wouldn't go I wouldn't fully go into it and that would actually cause me to stay in a depression like a stagnant energy going fully into the heartache and the pain is actually where you find the freedom you become released from it and that looks different from for everyone and this is a great place for like therapists and counselors and integration specialists to assist you in like how do I navigate the dark it's not in avoiding the dark that we find peace Peace is the faith that we hold in the pain, knowing that this pain isn't forever. And that if I feel this right now, it's going to show me and teach me something. And when it's over, I can release it and then continue on. And that pain will probably come back in a different way because we live in these cycles of contrast. 
um, having spiritual practices assist us in navigating and enduring the hard times, navigating and appreciating the good times, and making decisions from a place of what best serves me. Spiritual peace, you know, it's um, subjective. Um, when my my heart has been hurting bad this week, so I'm going to share what I'm doing with you. <sighs> this week I'm committing to, when I wake up, I commit to a somatic exercise to release the trauma that's been stored in my body. I've been avoiding this practice for a while. I'm making myself go out for one to three mile walks every day, even if I'm crying on the walk. I'm making myself eat three meals a day. Well, yesterday I didn't, but today I am. <laughs> um, that doesn't mean my heart is not hurting, but that is the medicine that my heart needs while it is hurting. My meditation continues. I'm recording readings. I'm fulfilling my obligations, not from a place of avoiding my pain, but actually standing in it and like letting people know, hey, just so you know, I'm going to... I'm going to meet with you on this coaching call. I'm going to show up in this meditation. I'm going to um, meet you in the community app. And also, I'm enduring something. Um, my human is humaning. You know, my, my life is lifing too. I don't believe that spiritual, our spiritual faith protects us from hard stuff. I actually think that's the tool that we lean on when we move through the hard stuff. I hope this makes sense and is helpful. Um, if you, High Priestess, if you have an alternative take or a different way, maybe you could say this better than I did. How do you keep your spiritual peace when your heart is hurting? Maybe you have practices that you lean into. Like, um, I have an emergency, <laughs> I have an emergency box and it's like when, when I hit a certain point of pain, I pull out my emergency box and it's like reading old letters from people, um, it's, I have some activities in there that I save. Like, I don't do them throughout the year. It's I save them specifically for the emergency box. We're getting, like, really personal right now. But <laughs> um, I, I don't know if that, that can help. But, like, having some kind of, like, when I hit this moment, these are the things that are extra that I can do to remind myself feeling is safe through feeling is healing. And it's temporary. This hurt is temporary. It's always temporary. It might keep coming back around and around and around and around. <laughs> but, but it is temporary when it does come back. Thank you for being here with me, Pisces. I appreciate you so much. And a very special extra thank you to the High Priestess Healing community and the community members that have been holding me this week. Um, thank you so much, Tara, Kimberly, Edie, Sandra, Vega. Thank you so much um, for hearing me and holding me. I appreciate you more than you know. Thank you to everybody who's here who shows up. Thank you for all of your donations. Thank you for all of your <clears throat> thank you for all of your kind words. Thank you for supporting other high priestesses in the comments. Nothing makes me more happy than seeing other people take care of other people from a place of my cup is full. I can offer this in the comments. It's really beautiful. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Pisces, hold my hands. My stomach's going to growl, guys. I'm sorry. I didn't eat yet. I'm sending you so much Reiki love and healing, Pisces. Take a big, deep breath in. Holding it at the top for three. You are the Empress. Two, you are the High Priestess. And one, let it go. You are the Magician. Yes, you are, Pisces. Say it. I am the High Priestess. I love you, Pisces. <laughs>